Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rio Grande, one of the best sea trout rivers in the world. It is located next to the southern hemisphere in Tierra del Fuego, the land of fire. There you can expect to catch one of the liveliest and biggest sea trouts in the world. Gentlemen, I'm going to Punta Petro. I don't know where it is, but uh, if you hear a shout on uh, Cal Talpen uh, uh, radios, then you know where Arnie is, okay? In Rio Grande you can expect to catch 20 to 30 fishes on each rod in a normal week. The average weight is 12 pounds and the biggest one caught at around 30 pounds. The record fish is 35 pounds. It sure gets your blood moving when the Rio Grande sea trout hammers the dry fly, but sometimes you'll have to use another technique. So I put this very heavy fly on and casted it upstream like I'm doing now. Then I gave a couple of yards of line, let it sink and let it go very close to the bottom. The fish are shine now, they stay down because of there is no wind, no breaking water. And boom, he took. And here's another one. <laughs> Same technique. Whee! Rio Grande sea trout. This is how I want to do it. I don't want the fish to go to the gravel. Just keep them in the water. But look at that monster. Oof. That is a real fish. So we want the fish to keep in the water. We take the fly gently out. It's a very healthy fish. Look at him. Big, strong male. It's very important. After you fight the fish, you have to Take the hook very carefully out. Don't beat the fish on the dry gravel. Keep it in the water so you don't hurt the fish. And then you have to give the fish attention for uh, maybe five minutes just so he recovers completely and he swims healthy away. You cannot release them immediately after, after you have fighted them. You have to... Wow! <laughs> Fishing in Argentina is great, but just wait until the magic hour when the sun sets. Then the big ones get moving and true adventures take place. <laughs> 